Assalamu alaikum. Unlike most people, I've been thinking. And I got it. You ready? China. China, China, China. The supreme leader. My best friend, uh, 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 what's his name? Kim Jong? Not Kim Jong. Xi Jinping, aka We Need a Poo. He's behind the war in Israel. No joke, no conspiracy. Hear me out. Quick, too. I'm going to make it quick. Last video, I told you about <clears throat> how Iran did this. This Hamas attack, even though they will deny it. All right? They deny it so they beat the case. But we all know where that came from, bro. Hamas is a bunch of and I'm not to undermine them, but I'm not going to call them terrorists. I'm going to call them thugs. Let's call them what they are. Thugs. All right? Thug life. So these thugs. I know a lot of thugs in my life. The maximum, maximum, they might have a gun. Or two. Or something. Maybe a sword. But where do thugs get rockets? Pew! Ballistic thousand of rockets. Where do you get that from? You work at McDonald's? Let me see your pay stub. Hmm? Iran gave them the money. They're not shy about it. They'll tell you themselves. Iran won't tell you them. But the Iranian method, like I told you, is to finance thugs across the globe. Thugs like, uh, is is. You know, is is. ISIL, same thing. Thugs like uh, Hezbollah, uh, Hamas, Houthi, Yemen, uh, uh, Qaeda, whatever, you name it. Hezbollah. If you thug, you shunned, Iran is just like you. Most likely you get your money from them. You get lots of money, you get lots of rockets. In return, you get to be their soldiers that are, you know, because they're sanctioned. They can't be sending people worldwide like that. They're, they can't move like how e the rest of the world move. Iran is like North Korea in the Arab world. You understand? Now, the difference between Iran and Arabia is, first off, Iran's beef, the hell? Iran's beef with America <clears throat> is because America did them dirty because back in the day, America did them dirty when it comes to, to some money stuff, some play, some oil business. All right? They kind of zoned them. These boys, I guess, nationalized, something like that. You can do your own research. And America, in return, said, oh, okay, since so we ain't getting the money through you. It wasn't even America. It was the Brits. The Brits went to Big Daddy America. Big Daddy did it. And that's why you got Iranians walking around saying, death to America. It's not about your lifestyle. Death to America. Mm -hmm. If you really look back, it's some money stuff. Part of the beef, again, you know why it was beefing with Arabia? I explained. The only reason they beefing with Arabia is because Arabia was cool with you. Because Arabia was cool with the United States. How you gonna pick them over me? Uh, these boys ain't getting money. But see, Arabia had a reason to. Like, let, let me let me tell you something straight up. Outside the Western world, okay. Outside the few Western, huh? You go anywhere else in the world, everybody knows Israel for what it is. They might recognize it as as as, 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 as for politics sake. But human to human, everybody knows what's up. Israel is is, 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 is is wrong. It's immoral. They know what they do. They've most likely met a few people from down Palestine. They'll tell you stories, videos. So the world knows what's up. But for business purposes, Arabia might be like, eh, you know, it is what it is. Because they got to give money. I had, they got to sell you that oil at the end of the day, so they can't go out there and say death to America like Iran does. Iran is like your cousin. I mean, let me put it like this. 
I'm very corporate friendly. You can take me to a building <clears throat> and I won't get canceled or get you canceled. I won't embarrass you. <clears throat> but you know you got that one friend that you take him and as soon as he sees somebody fruity, somebody gay, he dropping the F-bomb, the F-A-G. Holy, he got you in trouble already. <laughs> That's Iran for you. Iran is that type of friend that you can't bring to the, to the, huh? You might bring him and you got your American friend here. And you're Arabia. You chilling, you got America with you. So yeah, meet my friend. Death to America. You can't bring him out to the, to the party, you understand? So that's Iran for you. Since they're already sanctioned and they don't got a reason to be cool enough because they're not getting money with you. America did them dirty. So they're sanctioned. They're not getting money. They're like, F everything. We might as well keep it 100. F America and F Israel. Mainly Israel. The anti-Israel <clears throat> or, or, or the leaning not so against I stand with Israel. <laughs> The not standing with Israel is the norm in the, amongst the Arab world. And for you to go otherwise makes you a traitor. Not in the eyes of some terrorists. Or, I'm talking about just regular people. Jewish or not, I got Jewish friends. But I say the truth in front of them and in front of you. But the truth must be said, bro. The truth must be said. Moving on. This attack that broke everything out by Hamas, right? Mind you, they got the money, they got the rockets. They, how the hell would them thugs get rockets? Think about it. Iran did this. There's proof and evidence to suggest Iran did this. Well, why did Iran do this? This was the topic of my last video, but I'll move briefly on it. Boom. Iran was beefing with Arabia for a long time. Long time. And managed to make peace. Peace that was interrupted by Sleepy Joe flying to Arabia to say, pause that beef, pause that peace. Don't make peace. Do you understand this this these two beef these two nations beef in Arabia and Iran? That beef has been part of the whole instability across this whole Across three continents or more. <laughs> so this peace is a great thing. This peace was interrupted by America on behalf of Israel. Why? Because again, I told you, Iran, they don't, they don't, they don't approve of Israel. All right? They, 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 they see their existence as, 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 as an abomination, as, as a wrong anyway. All right? And they don't gotta, they're not doing business with you, so they don't even gotta keep it a politically correct with you. It's straight up war on Israel. They don't recognize it, all that good stuff. But they don't attack because, you know, they get hit right back. So they keep it, uh, but we, they just don't F with you. So now when you come sleepy on behalf of Israel, just because you're homie, don't, and you interrupt this, the, the best peace opportunity that touched the Middle East in, in, in years. You interrupt this peace so the homeboys over there can be good. Nigga Israel, y'all should have played, y'all should have sat this one out. Y'all brought it on yourself. Because Iran right away was like, oh, you gonna, as soon as we make a little bit of progress, a little bit of peace, the, the Israel come and interrupt it. So they're like, fuck it. Yo, Hamas. Hit some rockets, man. Green light. Hit them. And that's what happened. But I want to I wanna take you... I already took you on a bigger picture, but I'm about to take you on a bigger, bigger picture. You ready? Arabia and Iran, the beef and hardcore. Okay? Man, if I go on my Spotify, all my Arabian music is this in Iran. All of it. All of it. Even the romantic one. I got a romantic artist. Even he was singing to a girl. He compared his love to the war. <laughs> I got a song. A guy says he hates Iran so much he can't sleep at night. 
Oh, Iran, Iran. So it's really hard to, to, to talk. But who made these two sit down and talk? Who? Oh. oh, yeah, okay, I'll tell you. No, I'll tell you. <laughs> I got you. You just gotta say please, though. You said please, okay. None other than Mr. Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. AKA Winnie the Pooh, Mr. Belt and Road Initiative himself. He brought peace to the Middle East. Is it because he a good. Mr. China, yeah. China, China made Arabia and Iran sit down because they know. This is the, 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 these two getting cool is the worst thing that can happen to the, 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 the allies, if you will. America, Israel, the whole bunch. That boy is, 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 is see how he moved? He made them two sit down. Man, you might be like, AK, hey, man, you're going too hard on the China, man. Maybe he's just a good Chinese dude. He wants to see two brothers, Muslims, come together. Huh? Who? We need a poo? We need a poo in his China. If we need a poo cared about a Muslim uh, or Islam, a Muslim person, period, he wouldn't have slave camps open to this day, last I checked, who'd imprison Muslims for crimes like. Being Muslim, no, I'm, I'm not I'm being serious. I did a whole documentary on it. Being born in a certain year, that's a crime. Uh, having a beard too long. Just to, any, any reason to just throw you in that slave camp. He's trying to erase the, 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 the Islam from China. And have them not worship Allah, but worship Xi Jinping. In K.A. Winnie the Pooh. So Winnie the Pooh obviously don't give a fuck about no Muslim Muslims having peace. And blah, blah, blah. He's in it for self. But now it makes sense, don't it? Mr. Belt and Road, boy. Now this whole conflict broke out. And he's sitting in the corner, spying on you through TikTok, seeing how you're going to react to it. Good job, Xi Jinping. Well played, son. Before I leave you on that, why would Xi Jinping do that? None other than world domination plan. And it's working perfectly. COVID was a bioweapon. Call it conspiracy, call it what you want. Check out Lao Wai. He's a white dude. He used to live in China. He can speak Mandarin or Chinese. He broke it down, down before. Chinese TV. You got generals, Chinese generals. They're bragging about having bioweapons. Years before COVID. Where did they make them bioweapons or research them? Wuhan? Oh. Coincidence, small world. Small world, huh? Wuhan. You get it? He did this. China man did this. But really, he, he, he didn't, I don't think he intended it for it to go left like this, okay? Because Iran, Iran is a cuckoo. Iran is unstable. You know? Iran is, 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 is like that. And, and, and using terrorist groups or just any thug with a gun to do their dirty work has been their metho methodology throughout the years. The only reason there was a war in Yemen is because these motherfuckers came at the time under Qasem Soleimani, may he rest in piss, they came through and, and that was his, he, he pioneered that idea that instead of sending your own, 
Just pay, pay Houthi, pay whoever to do your dirty work. So, you might be like, Iran is like North Korea. They don't got allies. They don't got allies. But they, they, I'll tell you who their allies are. <laughs> Islamic State. <laughs> Iraq, Syria, ISIS. Islamic State. Iraq, Libya, ISIL. Uh, Houthi, Yemen. Hezbollah, Lebanon. Uh, Qaeda, Afghanistan. That's not, that's not even a thing anymore. Hezbollah, I said it. And Hamas. And many more. And if a new one come out tomorrow, they going to hire them. That's how they do. That's their that's the Iranian method. I spoke about it and and it's it's not a secret. Ask Hamas, go look them up, see where they get their money from. They don't work at the at the mall. <laughs> Booster Juice, we think Hamas work get their money from Booster Juice job part-time? No, motherfucker. Even if they got their money doing their own thing, where does a bunch of thugs get rockets and a thousand rockets? You might get a rocket or two, but a thousand rockets? Yeah, Iran had nothing to do with it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but that, that Chinese boy, I'm telling you, keep an eye on him. He started this whole conflict he sat back in the corner looking innocent, looking like Winnie the Pooh. Nah, motherfucker. Just like he spread COVID, crippled the whole economy of every nation on the planet. And meanwhile, everybody was crippled. His economy was shooting up. Still is. Still is. Every time negotiations don't go uh, according to, to his, his, his favor... You notice, you notice how everybody got COVID the other week? Notice that? Why is it every time negotiations aren't on his side, everybody suddenly get COVID? But I'm tripping. You notice that? At this point, just let him have the number one and de-escalate, de-escalate, de-escalate. If you want to see peace between these two people, Israel and Palestine, let Arabia handle it. Not the white man. Control your America. Control your, your, your little dog. Hold your dog, Israel. Ho, ho, ho. Revenge, revenge. I, I'm going to talk more about it later, but if you want peace, de-escalate. Listen to Arabia. Normalization ain't going to happen like this. You're going to make it hard. Times like this, I wish we had Trump. If we had Trump, none of this would have ever happened. Ukraine would have never popped off had Trump been there. Straight up. It is what it is, man. Hit the subscribe button, man. <laughs> I put you on game. You can't say I haven't. This is the product of my own thinking. Not some, some I watch somewhere. Let me know what you think, man.